Hey everybody, it's Brooke. Look, it's Christmas in mid-July, finally. Meh. I've been having so much fun playing with Christmas stuff, playing with my cart, Bob, um, my friend Maddie Azar at Spectrum Art by Maddie, and her darling daughter Madison gifted me my favorite Graphic 45 Christmas set. So that was absolutely awesome. It's joy to the world, in case you were wondering. So what I've done for my first uh, December daily journal or Christmas journal is uh, follow step-by-step -step along with Joie de Fee, also affectionately known as Joey, because it's fun to say. And I will link her tutorials for this journal down below because she's amazing. Her step-by-steps are so clear and I just thought it was so fun that I went right along with her step-by-step -step, made the flip flap mechanism and everything with envelopes and I just used Christmas papers and um, Christmas styled things to make it a Christmas journal so let me show you what I did I just tied this around it to keep it from flip flapping too much and when you open your journal up you open it it opens three directions and then on this front pocket let me get something to show you this front flap there is a three-tiered pocket so there's a pocket here and a pocket here and a pocket back here big one and then you have a paper bag here that will be great oh let me scoot it down a little bit this will be great for a big tag or whatever and then journaling something on the front got the whole back Flip this again, journaling, beautiful Christmas pictures, and when you open it up, it's an envelope, so you have this whole place to tuck in whatever you want to tuck in. And then on the other side, this is another envelope, and look at that, another envelope, more tucky spots, places to decorate, places to journal, tons of real estate. You guys know I'm all about adding the extra real estate. And then you have this whole page to journal on or photos or whatever and it's an envelope as well and so you have a tuck spot inside the envelope there this is the back part of the cover and i just used washi tape on either side to cover up the envelopes that we tipped in that i tipped in we're going to tip them in in a minute <clears throat> and you close those excuse me and then on this back flap which is the sort of inside middle cover. Um, it's the same thing, one of Joey's pockets that has a tuck here and a pocket there and a pocket there. And then the whole cute thing, oh, gotta get my stuff folded back down. The whole thing closes up. You have this whole back section to do with what you will. Closes up again, that's the back cover. And there's the front cover again, and that's where I had the whole thing tied together. This is step-by-step -step all Joey's tutorial. And again, I will link that down below. I believe it's three different parts and she just explains it so clearly. She's fabulous. So go watch Joey's tutorial and you can see exactly how she made this. I'm going to show you how I did it, which is really quite well, okay, exactly the same, but let's go ahead and do it and see what you think. So I'll move that out of the way. And what I have here are one piece of Christmas cardstock. This is that Joy to the World collection, 12 by 12, 12 by 12 solid cardstock. This is Basil Basics, so it has a little bit of a texture. I don't know if I can really get that, but yeah, a little bit of a texture, but it doesn't matter. Any old cardstock will do. Coordinating probably would be the way to go. Uh, and then I have three of the envelopes that we made in my last little tutorial that also referenced joie. And if I'm really lucky, right here, wah, wah, a card will appear that will take you to that video. Uh, so we have three envelopes that I made from uh, Christmas music. This is out of a Christmas book, some decorating book. I'm not sure which one. And then this is from a 1956. Maybe it is a Better Homes and Gardens, um, but I love this ad. Look at that. Caught in the act of giving the finest. 
and so that's another envelope that I made. Then I got tired of making envelopes for a minute, so I grabbed a brown paper bag that I have. These are not old. I think it might be um, Hobby Lobby. I got these a long time ago. I'm guessing it was Hobby Lobby. Any old bag, envelope, anything you have will do. And then I have two of the little pockets that I did do from, well, I started making them from Joey's tutorial. Oh, I glued that one, but it's open now. Um, I started making them from Joey's tutorial, forgot which side I was supposed to cut on, and so I made them a little bit different, not much. I did glue them together. There we go. So it's got three tucks that way, and then depending on how you glue it, it could also be a pocket in the back. And I've got one facing either direction. So this one opens up to the left, and this one opens up to the right. And I guess I should flip them there. So that is what I used to make the journal I just showed you. So let's do that. I'll move these things out of the way. That guy too. I'll show you how I made those envelopes. What I'm going to do is, um, this is a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. So I'm gonna make these the same height. I want them to be pretty tall, you know. Maybe let's measure this one and see. How tall did we make it? The one I made, before was nine inches. I really like this size. Uh, it has lots of room for journaling and writing and keeping memories. So let's go ahead and make this one nine inches high too. Oh, and let me apologize if you hear the air conditioning grumbling along here in wacky Maine in the summertime in July. Um, it's another really hot and humid day. I had to have the air conditioning on. So I've got my big Martha Stewart chomper and I'm going to cut both of these to nine inches high. I had them lined up beautifully and then misaligned them. So there we go. Just lining that up, making sure it's right up against the top there. Want to be pretty careful about making these, um, oh man, what just happened? Making these straight because once you get off a little bit at the very beginning if your measurements are off or you're a little crooked it's easy for it to go a lot more crooked going forward so something stuck there hopefully hopefully uh, I did not just start off really crooked we'll find out I guess all right so get this out of the way and then what I'm going to do is decide which side I want to be the front I love this. I want this to be the front. Oop, too high, sorry. And so uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fold I am gonna, I'm going to fold it in half. And uh, where's my bone folder? There we go. Give that a good crease. And there is the front. Oop the inside flap the middle flap and we're going to make a third flap with our um, solid cardstock and I can see I did get off a little bit but that's okay we'll trim it up and it'll be just fine I don't know if you can see it on the camera but there's just a little hairline of this paper this one's a little taller but that's okay so what we want to have happen is we want to attach this so we'll sort of tip it in and then we want to fold it, but we don't want it to go past this crease because then obviously the whole thing will not close right. So, oh, I love that cover. Look at that. Oh, this paper is stunning. And I wasn't careful because I was talking, but look how centered that ended up. That makes me happy. So what I'm going to do is fold this a little bit. And I have the textured part on the top, total judgment call doesn't matter it's whatever you like how you like it to look I'm gonna fold a little bit on this side and that's where we're gonna tip it in and so when I do a tip in or anything like that I do like to miter the corners so I'm going from our crease just nipping off a little bit makes it look a little neater reduces the bulk right at the fold there uh, and get those out of the way Okay, so what'll happen, let's see what's gonna happen is that's gonna glue in right there. And we just have to decide where we wanna cut it. And I'm going to scoot it up a little bit. 
double check. This pattern paper is so patterned, it's hard to see our fold. So I want it to be, double check one more time. <laughs> Take your eyes off for a minute. So I want it to be right about here. No measurements, I'm not giving you exact measurements because you can do this with any paper. You can make it tiny, you can make it ginormous, it's just a matter of looking at it while you're cutting and folding, and you can do it with any size paper at all. So let's get our big old chopper again. And I can just see that pencil mark. I hope, she says. There it is. So I'm going to go ahead and line that up. And there we go. Save this, because we'll definitely use that in the decorating. Get that out of the way. Okay, and got all these little bits of paper flying everywhere. And this guy is gonna get glued right there. Okay, so I'll go ahead and grab my just creasing this a little bit more, giving it a better, sharper crease. Go ahead and grab my art glitter glue. Still am soaking once again my fine point tips because I don't know. Are you guys having that problem? I use mine for two days and then they're absolutely clogged with glue and I don't know why. So trying to be careful not to squeeze too hard or you will end up with a lot more glue than you need. You want to make sure it's pretty well covered though because this is going to take some some folding and using. And then I'm just lining it up with our right hand edge and I'm not certain if this is exactly I I'm pretty sure this is pretty close to how Joey did it too honestly I watched it a week and a half two weeks ago and you guys know if it was more than five minutes ago I don't remember but we end up at exactly the same place this is exactly the same journal that Joey made okay, make sure that's a good fold nothing is knocking into anything else <clears throat> I do when I'm making journals I tend to go through and crease 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 do another bone fold whatever just make sure that you're keeping those folds nice and crisp and look at that there we go isn't that beautiful already look at all that space for Christmas memories it's awesome or Halloween memories or birthday memories or a creative daily journal you can do anything you want with this. Very versatile. Okay, so now the next thing we're gonna do is do what Joey calls the flip-flap me mechanism, which will be with the envelopes. So again, these are the envelopes I made, and I have one brown paper bag, and let's just see what we wanna do here. What do we want to have showing? I love this. I think I would like to have that showing. I like that it has the blue in it because look at the blue on the front. I love that. So I think I'm going to have that one there and then maybe, mm, I think I want these two on this side. Let's see if this will fit. It sure will. And what I am going to do, were I going to use these as envelopes to mail something, there's the flap, it works beautifully. We don't need that whole flap, we're just going to be taping or gluing them in. So this is just going to be the tab that we glue with. So I'm going to go ahead and trim these flaps off. So I scoot that aside, <laughs> bring out my ridic ridiculously huge chopper. And I'm going to leave it at, at maybe a half an inch or so. Just enough to get a good bead of glue and make sure that it's, whoops, make sure that there's enough room to um, glue it in securely, but also to be able to cover up that flap with washi tape. And I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Okay, check in. All the, uh, all the shades are closed in here trying to keep the heat out, so my lighting is even more hideous than usual. We got shadows, sorry guys. Oh, the summertime, what can you do? There's always something, right? So we get rid of those flaps. You could save those flaps because there were some neat images. Uh, I am not saving every single scrap because I would like to have room to still live in my house. So what did we decide? We decided that we would put these two 
on the left hand side. So again, what I'm going to do is find the fold, okay, and this envelope is going to go right up against that fold, but you do want to leave just a little bit of space between your envelope and the fold so that it has room to close up neatly. Just a hairline. I don't know why I put everything crooked. Probably why everything ends up crooked, right? So we'll grab our... I actually, in retrospect, I would have left more of a lip there. I wish I had, but I didn't, so it'll be fine. So I'm going to go ahead and put glue on that, which would be the top flap of the envelope if we were using it for mailing. Make sure we get a good bunch of glue on there. And because this paper is so busy, I'm folding it up a little bit to make sure that I'm not going over it. Just lining that up. Oop, that's awfully crooked, even for me. So let's go ahead and before I press anything down real hard, I'm making sure that we're straight. We're just right up against that fold. It'll still fold this way. Yep. Look at that. And we'll give that a real good mash. And there's envelope number one. We're ready to go. This is um, real thin old magazine paper, so it's it's buckling a little bit, but that's okay because we're going to cover it up. No biggie. And there's our, our pocket. Yay. Love it. Love it. And so now let's put in our music. And again, uh, I did cut it a little smaller. This is a little more narrow than I would have liked. Um, crappy light. What are you going to do? So we'll put some glue on there. Get that good and covered. Not so much that it squishes out everywhere, but enough that uh, it'll be a good tight bond. And it's easier for me to line it up this way. I can just see it better. And you can put this anywhere you want. It could be all the way at the top, all the way at the bottom. It could be centered. Uh, and I am going to center it, sort of. I'm not going to measure it. Before I press that down, whoop, before I press it down, I'm going to fold this up and make sure Yep. Make sure it's nice and lined up. Make sure it's even. That is nice and straight. And then mash this down. Mash this down. Get that good contact with the glue. And then the first flippy flappy mechanism is all finished. Look at that. Joey is a genius, I'm telling you. And I just, this image just kills me. I love this. So there's one. And there's two. Boom. We're going to do the other side and do exactly the same thing. So here is, how do we want the link? Let's decide how we want these. Which one do we want on the outside? Oop, they're going to go that way. Whoops. <laughs> if you keep... Oh, that was a hiccup. Sorry, guys. Wow. Uh, if you keep turning the book the way that I do to glue things in, sometimes you forget which direction you're going. This one does have a direction because of the scrapbook paper. Do we want this one on the outside or do we want the paper bag? I think I want the paper bag on the inside. So first thing that we'll do, we'll just fold a little tiny gusset right here. Don't want to lose too much of the paper bag, but this will be good. Use my bone folder. And again, you can use anything in here that you want. It's your journal. Go crazy. Do whatever you like. And I do think, oh, is it tall? Oh, we're going to have to just trim off a hair across the top. Darn it. I like the um, sort of pinked looking edges, but nope. It'll stick out too much, so I don't want that. So off it goes. Now it fits. Look, surgery complete, surgery successful. Nice. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put our glue on here. Same exact thing we did on the other side. And I meant to miter that corner, and I forgot, but I'm just not going to lose any sleep over it. It will be fine. 
and I can see the fold a lot better on this dark green cardstock since it's not so crazy patterned. <laughs> so I don't have to turn it this way and that. And I'm just looking, looking, looking. Get that pressed down. Get that pressed down. And there's our pocket, or our bag, which is now a pocket, right? And then we'll go ahead and put, again, trying to do it upside down, we'll put this. Oh, nope. It was right. I was right the first time. Imagine that. Put this one in here. And I think I'm going to sort of center it ish. So I'll go ahead and put glue on the flap. Heavy concentration right there. Oh, and that's terribly glary. Wah. And I don't know, I guess I want it right about there. That works for me. That looks pretty cool. And put that down. And there's our envelope with its little opening right there. So we've got that, we've got that. All of our flappy mechanisms are in. Look at those little puppies, right? Aren't they beautiful? Ha 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 Yep, love that. So this one will open with a pocket. This one will open and there's a pocket. This will open and this is a bag up at the top. And this one will flap and there is a uh, an envelope opening right there as well and then there's the whole back page now I'm not particularly fond of how these look and Joie I believe put a pocket on the back and I didn't want to do that so what I'm going to do is just grab some washi tape and I'm really quite fond of this gold for Christmas so it's Generic washi tape, nothing, nothing fancy. If I could find the end, we'd be in business. Nope, no end. <laughs> it's oh, there it is. It popped up. This is not sticky at all, so I will glue this. So I'm going to get just a little bit more than the height of our book. I don't like trying to end uh, line up the ends of washi tape so I generally do tear off more than I need and then trim it with scissors because when I try to line it up it ends up falling on the wrong spot or curling up on itself or whatever it goes crazy so I'll just cover up these little mechanisms right about there covers up those flaps press it down with my handy dandy room key card and go to the back and trim off the excess nothing you haven't seen a billion times before I love how that gold looks isn't that beautiful it's hard to see I know the glitter gets kind of flashed out but then we'll do the same thing over on this right hand page exactly the same thing just get a little bit more washi tape than if our book is nine inches high it's probably nine and a half inches of washi tape glue stick it because don't ever trust washi tape There's something stuck to my finger it feels weird and cover up those bits perfect kind of frames out that whole page Whoop. Whoopee. Good thing I didn't mash it down too hard, right? A little bit of the book page was sticking out. Not the end of the world. But there we go. Frames out this back page and just adds some uh, sparkly Christmas fun. I know I said this last year because I remember saying it. I don't have very much Christmas washi. Nothing very fun. I also realized when I went to make this, I have almost no Christmas scrap of paper left. Luckily, Maddie and Madison were so generous to get this to me, or I would have had none. <laughs> okay, so 
that just takes care of those little those little pieces that were sticking out a little bit and looking a little messy. It also is going to strengthen the bond where we glued the flaps in. So our flippy flappy mechanism is good and snug now. Love it, love it, love it. So the next thing that Joie did, oh look, I used her real name. It's so much more fun to say Joey, honestly. Okay, and the next thing she did was to put in her pockets. And again, these are the pockets that have the um, three different tuck spots and this one is going to go right there that way it opens up towards the book and things won't be falling out of the side and then this one is a little bit different in size and I love how all the Christmas greenery and the fireplace look with this I just think it's beautiful so what I will do is uh, gluing tip and I'm sure you know this when I have two sides to glue and I have to turn it over I put my fingers where I don't want to glue that way mostly I put the glue in the right place sometimes it doesn't work but that's okay you can always wipe the glue off and start again this is shiny book page so I'm gonna hold it for a minute because it does try to escape a little bit whoop see there it slid darn it stop it so we'll get that put down, a little bit of glue oozed out, but that is no big deal. And I don't want to show you the pockets now. I'm going to let that glue sit up a little bit first, but we're going to do exactly the same thing. This is exactly the same pocket, except it opens on the right, and we're going to put that up here. And so we will glue right here, and the way I'm gluing it just makes the back a tuck spot. And I will show you after this sets up a little bit, I'll show you what I mean. So there we go. Just giving, I don't know, maybe an eighth of an inch from the um, edges, putting that in there. And then you have all these wonderful places to tuck goodies and whatnot. Hold that down, find the pin for my glue. Oh no, that's why I should have my glue jewelry out. But my glue jewelry is on my um, nozzle or my fine tip applicator that is soaking. All right then, be that way. <clears throat> All right, so let's let those sit up, sit up, set up for a minute, and I'll show you how I made the pockets. Joie has an excellent video. Uh, I believe it's right with the tutorial of making this whole journal. But as I said, I am a goofball, and I was making them and forgot where she said to cut, and so I made them in sort of a different way. Let me just grab a piece of paper. Uh, should have been ready I wasn't oh the spirit of Christmas is the book that I'm using one of the books I'm using for those beautiful um, pockets and everything these books are gorgeous I remember back in the 80s using them over and over to make Christmas presents and recipes and decorating and they're just so cool and I like how this one looks so let's make a pocket shall we so I'm gonna tear that out I buy these whenever I see them. I just love them. The pages are nice and sturdy. They are super glossy, but they're nice and sturdy and they take all kinds of abuse. I'm going to go ahead and trim off the ragged edge. And you can, again, use any size book page. Actually, you know what I am? I'm going to cut off the white borders too because I don't like when those end up. What is going on with my cutter? I don't like when the white borders end up showing right down at the bottom here. It does not seem to want to cut. Annoying. Oh, annoying. There we go. All right. Okay, so take your book page and get all your scraps out of the way so they don't bug you. Okay. I'm going to fold it in half this way. Use your bone folder so you get a nice neat fold. And then you're going to fold it in half this way. Lengthwise and widthwise. No measuring required because we don't like mathing. Okay, so then on the top left hand corner 
you're gonna fold I don't know if, I don't think you guys can see the crease marks that we made but you're gonna fold that top left hand corner all the way to the center crease okay and give it a good press that's kind of crooked so let me straighten that up a little bit crooked me never okay and then on the bottom right hand corner you're just gonna give it a little bit of a fold this will be our back pocket so this one's gonna be the smallest fold you're gonna make okay and then we're gonna fold oops, well you can't see that can you this top right hand corner we're gonna turn the paper over and this is gonna be our middle fold so I'm gonna fold it not right up to the crease and not a tiny fold I'm gonna make it a mid-size fold let me see if I can remember how to fold this back together okay now what I do is take some glue stick and just tack this down again shiny paper gonna give it a minute give it an extra press sometimes shiny paper just doesn't want to be glued okay. here's our deepest flap slap some glue on there and this is so when you fold it up into the pocket there are no extra pieces of paper that'll catch when you're taking things out or putting things in a little bit down on our smallest fold and I'm gonna have one moment here I'm gonna delude myself into thinking that I invented this pocket because I couldn't remember how Joey did hers just give me a minute you guys I know I didn't admit this pocket. I saw it somewhere, someday. Nothing new under the sun. And I'm sorry to say, I have no idea where I may have seen it. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and pretend for this moment, I invented this pocket. <laughs> it's not true. <laughs> it's so not true. Okay, so let's see if I can remember how to fold it now. So you fold it that way. And then you're gonna fold it over. And that's wrong. Let's try that again. Okay, you're going to fold it that way. And then you're going to fold it that way. There we go. So fold it into the left and then fold it up. Want me to do that again? Because apparently even I don't have it, right? Fold it to the left and then fold it up. Ta-da! <laughs> there we go. Look how adorable, you guys. I know it's hard to see, but the way that um, we folded the paper we've got this beautiful picture of cookies then we've got some of the recipe then we have the piece uh, I think it was a loaf of bread and then we have some white there and that is your pocket and then all you have to do is what I do is I take my glue and glue it closed on this edge that is gonna ooze out everywhere I can tell you that already I guess I better go clean those nozzles again huh grab a piece of paper towel because that's it's going everywhere even my poor sad mat doesn't need that much glue on it okay so we'll go ahead and really give that a burnish make sure it's glued well and I'll just say it one more time I do more glue and more burnishing when it's shiny paper and this is as I said thick shiny paper so now what you have is you have a pocket here that opens up so you can kind of slide things in and then here's this one you can slide things in here's this one you can slide things in and then depending on how you glue it on your page this can be one too and actually you know what would be cute to make it look like four pockets is we could fold that what if we did one more little fold aha uh -huh. just for fun where'd I put oh there's my glue stick so, yep, just folded that little dude up, get it straight, barely a fold at all, just a little bit, and it's just for decoration. And you could make this a floating pocket, just clip it in, whatever works for you. Okay, so that is how I made uh, my pockets to put in exactly the way that Joey did. I put them in exactly the way she did. Um, she made her pockets differently and again 
the videos are linked down below so go check her out because she is the genius who came up with this whole idea so let's grab our our little book that we're making and this is the one that opens to the right okay so this would go over on this page only if you want to make sure things getting tucked in will be kind of protected by the fold right so if you put it on this side things might try to escape out oop, that direction so to make the one that goes to the left it's exactly the same process just flip the, the corners that you're folding uh, <clears throat> and so that is where we are we have made this it's beautiful Joey goes on and decorates and puts all this other really beautiful stuff in um, and I loved it but then I started looking at this going oh I love this but what if and then I went off the rails and stopped following Joey's tutorial and ran them up. So, like we all love, but wait, there's more. This is a fabulous journal all by itself. A little folio. If you're too busy to do much journaling during Christmas, just the way it is would be perfect. There's lots and lots of room. Um, but as I said, I kept going with mine because I love to add extra real estate. So... Stay tuned for part two of our Christmas in July journal number one. It'll be coming to a YouTube channel, my YouTube channel, near you soon. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. It was awesome hanging out with you. Um, if you enjoyed what you saw, please subscribe. Throw me a thumbs up. It always helps. And if you would like to, uh, click the little bell, and hopefully you'll be notified when I go on live or upload a new video. Love you guys. Have a wonderful evening and Merry Christmas. Bye.